This is my belt sander. As a hobbyist woodworker with nothing more than a shop vac for dust collection, taking care of the sawdust on this thing can be difficult. It comes with a little dust bag attached to a very small rectangular dust port, and that does an okay job, but I've got a big sanding job coming up and I'd really like to be able to hook this thing up to my shop vac. Now I don't know if there's an adapter that exists, but uh, being that I have a digital caliper to measure things up and a 3D printer, I think we can model and print something that will work very well here. Now as a woodworker, the 3D printer has really come in handy for dust port adapters. A while back I made a pretty basic adapter to connect my miter saw up to the shop vac, and I use that all the time. It works great. Now the shape of the dust port on this belt sander is a bit more complex, but it's small enough that it does fit inside of the shop bag connector. So if I can design an adapter that will wrap around this dust port and expand up to the circle shape of the shop vac, I think that should work pretty well. Now to tackle this design, I started off by building a component for the dust port on my belt sander since it was kind of an unusual shape and I had all the measurements that I'd taken. Now I should point out that since the general standard for 3D printing and STL files is to work in millimeters, I took all of my original me measurements in millimeters to start with. Now after sketching out the profile of that dust port, I extruded it out to its actual depth, and then I used that component to build the rest of my dust port adapter around. So I make a new component for my dust port adapter, and to start off, I make the circular base, the outside shape of the piece, and just extrude it up to completely cover the dust port. From here, I draw a sketch on a plane in the middle of the part, and I take the, the edges of the dust port shape and project them into my sketch, and then offset them so I have a little bit of clearance between my part and the dust port adapter, and that'll also take care of any uh, imperfections in the surface of the 3D printed part. So now my cutout is a little bit bigger than the dust port itself, and I can extrude that out one side and the other side as well to the proper depth. I also created a lip around the base of the adapter that the shop bag hose can press up against. And now that I've got the shape of the dust port carved out, I can then extrude up and create the circular shape for the shop bag hose. And rather than leave it as a simple cylinder shape, I take that rectangular shape for the dust port and stretch it up and turn it into a circle shape at the other end. That's using the loft tool to uh, take one shape and stretch it into another as you extrude it. And that becomes the cutout inside my part where the actual dust will flow through. Then I round it over some of the edges with a fillet. And I thought it looked pretty good at this point. But I noticed that by putting the dust port in the very center of the adapter, I had about a quarter inch of wiggle room where that could slide back and forth. And I figure if I move that dust port out to the edge of the adapter, once I slide it on and put the hose over it, it can't move. So if I don't have a tight fit, the hose itself should keep it from sliding off. So going back through my model, I made a few revisions to the design and moved that dust port out to the edge so it would rest up against the, the edge of the shop vac hose and went back and rolled that forward through my design and came up with the final design that you see here. A quick side note, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out Bob over at I Like To Make Stuff. He and I were both working on 3D printed dust port adapters about the same time and his video covers some other interesting design techniques, so if you like this video, definitely give his a watch. I'll include a link in the description. Now when the print was all done, there was just a little bit of cleanup work to do on the support material, but it wasn't too bad. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that it had a nice snug fit. I think that extra bit of clearance we put into the model helped out, but it fit on just great and the shop vac hose slid into place. We had a pretty snug fit. Ready to go.
So here I'm prepping some flooring for some new carpet. Figured I'd sand off some of the glue. Fired up the shop back. And sand it away. And this thing hardly kicked up any dust at all. Just about everything went out into the shop vac and uh, couldn't be much happier with the results. So I really like to highlight these projects where 3D printing can be put to a real practical use. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've certainly gotten a lot of use out of my dust port adapter now that I've made one. And even if you don't have access to a 3D printer, if you know somebody who does or you want to pay a service, um, as long as you've got the 3D model, you can make some really useful stuff. I'll have STL files posted online. Check the description for links. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.